guys, welcome back. It's been a while, it's a uh, long time between drinks, but here we are again. Um, the old machine, I, somebody made me an offer I could not refuse, so I sold it. And I went out and bought a, a brand new machine. My plan is to go through each and every step, panel included, and set the whole thing up so everybody can see. So I have a couple of ideas, new ideas, um, to set up the spring-loaded bed. I will run through everything, show you all step by step. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using for the spring-loaded bed. It's quite a easy contraption. Two pieces of aluminium, piece of aluminium angle, and piece of aluminium U, U channel. A couple of springs, nuts, bolts, obvious. Um, and the plan is obviously to mount it along here. Now the height obviously is very important where this mounts. And we want it so that the optimal level is underneath this channel right here under this piece of angle so what I've come up with is this 3d printed piece which holds a pen now I've calculated and designed this so this is at the optimal level the K40 comes with a lens focal length of 50 point eight millimeters so this is set up to 49.6 I believe because 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 as we can see this has a thickness of 1.5 1.4 we? 1.4 Somewhere there. There we go. And I want to be able to see the line. So I've designed this to be 49 point whatever it is. I don't know. 49.6 or something I think it is. And this holds a pen. So this will mark out where we have to mount our spring loads. So, well, let's mark that out now. A bit of light so you can see better. So this will give us a perfect line to mount our spring loaded optimal to see. There we go. So we do the same, obviously, for the other side. So here's our piece that I designed. It slips up underneath the uh, lens. And there's length from the lens to the pen is exactly what the level we need. So we set it up to this side. Make sure it's nice and tight. Move the camera. mark where we got to go and there's our line now this will stay exactly where we want it to be no matter where what's at a level or what what's not right so that's our part for the leveling okay so just an explanation on the Spring loader clamp. Let's 
unzip this. Here. And here. And basically what we have is a piece of aluminium angle. 20 mil, I believe. Down. Okay, 28. Mm, 26 odd, 25.7. And a piece of U angle. This is... Oh, that was weird. 12 mil. 22, 23 by 20 odd. But anything will work. What you want to do is countersink these holes and place them on the outer edge so that this sits outside a little bit because later on we're going to clamp this or we'll use uh, pop rivets and you don't want this fouling on the, ed the head of the pop rivet so we stick it on the outside of the angle so basically all we do is put our countersunk, how long are these? 50 mil. And the spring is 24 mil. So, screw through there. Screw through there. Spring, spring, and what I recommend here is a lock nut. It has a tiny piece of plastic in the head there, so when you screw it down, it stays in position and won't unscrew. But for demonstration purposes, I'll just use the normal ones here. So, so, screw it down to the tension you feel you need and then basically we have our spring loaded clamp that acts so and our bed will sit in here and this height will be exactly at the level of our laser focus yeah that's it very simple does the job Okay, so next job, mount these. So I've pre-drilled two holes for our pop riveting. And here's our line we drew with our special rig or jig. So let's line this up, the top of our line. Drill away. What you want to be careful with is, is the on the other side is the rubber band that runs up and down. So be careful when you're drilling. That's the shit is. Gotta clamp it. Okay, so yeah, let's pop rivet this on. One side. There's a line, right in our line. Lift this up a tiny bit. Okay. On the other side,
Okay. There she is. Let's cut these off. And there's our rail. Nice and fast, nice and tight. Not going anywhere. So you do the same, exactly the same for the other side. And you go from there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. So, spring, washer, lock nut, okay, put that down, yep, this one, and deal. Adjust it to the tension that you need. There we are. And the same on the other side. Okay, so here we are with the bed. Uh, all ready to go. So I have these uh, spaces if you have thicker material obviously you just slip them under there and you have three millimeters more depth and that works with a bunch of other ones I have two millimeter printed I have up to five I think but basically that's the setup for the spring loader bed I hope you enjoyed it thanks very much see you later guys